Yo, what's going on people? Spark. And uh we are going to be making a Dynasty Warriors 8 tier list. Uh this is actually take two. I actually recorded a two hour video. Um, but I didn't have my mic unmuted and you know I ended up uh <laughs> just uh making a useless video with no audio. But anyways, we're good to go now. So uh, yeah, this is the Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends uh, tier list thing, but we're missing old buddy, the strategist guy, but, uh, I would say, you know, him, I would put him probably like in like A or B tier or something like that, uh, but we're ranking these characters based on movesets, juggle, um, like style play, uh, all that stuff. That's how we're ranking these characters. It's not based on, or like, anything silly like, uh, or not silly. I would say not silly, but just stuff that I don't really care about, like story or uh, character personality and stuff like that. I don't care about that. Uh, I don't play these games for that. In fact, uh, anymore at least. Um, I. Just ranking this based on style of play, based on just everything in their kit. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So, Shushu. This guy's interesting because he is the first character, like, here, right? From from left to right um, and top to bottom. But he's actually an S-tier character. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of goofy, but... Yeah, straight off the rip, we got an S tier character. Uh, he has his EX1, which is a true juggle. Uh, if you do C5, uh, straight up is a true is a true combo. It's a little tricky to land sometimes because it depends on the enemy height ahead of time uh, before you do it. But it's a true combo. Uh, the EX afterwards is a true combo. Uh, his weapon switch is a true combo. Uh, his Musa One is a great combo ender his uh what else his muso 2 is one of the best utility musos in the game uh there's just a lot of good stuff to this character uh shushu is a s tier character for sure uh without a doubt he has a lot of tech uh, of course you can use uh, charge one to you know get back to the enemy if you knocked him away even though it's a little funky on eight but if you put in enough time with the character, you can, you know, get the most out of that, right? So yeah, that's Shushu. He's an S tier character. All right. So see my Yi. His weapon is great if you switch to uh, a weapon that has a power up animation, like the drill or um, the sword and shield weapon. It it has that. Uh, C6 can be a little tricky to hit sometimes, but you have to turn away from the enemy to get the ticks with it. Uh, his jump charge is actually not that bad. Is I would say try to use that uh, to uh, pick up juggles that are a little far further away from you. His air muso is great for initiate, initiating combos, so if the enemy is standing, uh, you can just jump in there and just get, get the free... The, uh, the freeze and then you know juggle afterwards or do combos afterwards uh yeah see my uh got a nice i would say his weapon is a good combo initiator weapon or not sorry it's like a good utility weapon uh but i would say with all that being said he's c tier and that's simply because his kit is it feels a little funky sometimes uh muso one is just not very good uh for like single targeting and stuff because you you'll likely grab a peon if they're if the officer you're trying to juggle is surrounded by you know peons it's yeah it's not good for that uh muso two has juggle rejuggling you know uh, capabilities to it so what would I say 
uh yeah he's he's a c tier I, I would say i he would either be c or b tier I, I'm, I'm put him in b uh just because he has utility in this kit in his uh c2 has infinite juggle capabilities but you'll likely hit a peon with it though so that's the thing but yeah there's that okay so we got leon sure interesting character right because he went from having one of the worst arguably one of the worst weapons in muso history uh to having one of the best in my opinion uh the whole store mechanic is dope as hell it flows nicely the weapon switch is a true combo you know she got a lot of cool stuff to her oh and by the way this this list is you know wars orochi 4 and dynasty warriors 8 empires so we're we're looking at from the Empire's Warriors Rochi Four standpoint. Uh, she's an S tier character. Uh, she's just she's so flashy and has so much combos she can do. Uh, just watch Wonder Pirate's video on her weapons, and you'll see just how amazing they are. Uh, S tier character for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so we got Juron. Juron? Is that his name? Let me look at the goddamn, the goddamn website. Uh, but yeah, this guy has one of the worst feeling weapons. Uh, I I'm sure there's some sort of learning curve to it, and I'm sure there's some combo Andy out there deep in the depths of, of the internet that probably did some, some content on him or some juggles or whatever it may be. Uh, I'm sure there's combo tech with him, and I would say you know put conflagration on him if uh, you play him on eight extreme legends. Uh, but as is, I would say he's a C tier character. Uh, his I think it's his his Musa one is one of the more like head scratching Musos because it's like. It's so, it feels kind of out of place. It doesn't have the sort of cinematic flavor that all the other Musos have. It's a little strange. But I get what they were going for. But it just, overall, just didn't turn out too well. He's probably pretty goaded in Orochi 4 if used correctly. Now that I think about it. But uh, as of the knowledge that I know of him, he's not very great. I don't know. He's, he's just not. He's not him. All right, we got Tatsutsu. Tatsutsu, uh, his his kid is pretty decent in eight. I would say he's also like a C tier level character because you need all slash frost the the abilities that on in eight in order to get the most out of his uh his C six and stuff and um. So there's that. That doesn't make him lower, but it's just that his overall kit uh, is just lacking a bit um, for juggles. But his weapon is a pretty decent weapon for combo enders, right? Uh, so there's that. So yeah, C tier character. Uh, U Eugene. Okay. Um, Eugene is not bad. Uh, the reason why I say that is because he's much like Masamune in Samurai Warriors 2. And in that game, Masamune had charge attacks that can actually link into each other. Um, and it flew, it flowed pretty nicely, uh, in that game. And he kind of has that going for him. Uh, yeah, he has that going for him. Uh, so, but he's also a C tier character because he doesn't really get much mileage combo wise out of his musos. Um, there's no rejuggles or anything like that. So, yeah, he he's more of a like you link a bunch of combos together or charges charges together and you end it off with his muso. That's that's the kind of character he is. Uh, if you go for style play, uh, and also don't use his weapon as a main weapon unless you use conflagration and again i would encourage that on most weapons with 
long or lengthy attacks uh, to go for conflagration or lengthy uh, weapon switch animations or something like that. And speaking of lengthy weapon switch animations, we got Meng Huo. Uh, uh, his killer, man, it's like a D tier weapon. The weapon switch, even with conflagration, feels so clunky. Uh, and it has knockback to it, so it'll put enemies out of range for you to do stuff. Um, I'm sure he's a little bit better in Dynasty Warriors, or not, sorry, Warriors Orochi 4. Um, but from my knowledge of the, you know, the time that I spent playing him, which was not much time at all, uh, I would say he's a D tier character, for sure. Like, uh, the... He's very unimpressive. <laughs> okay. Guo Jai? Guo, yeah, Guo, Jua, Jua, Guo Jai? Yeah. The guy, the guy with the goddamn, uh, um, uh, pull, pull stick thing. He's an A tier character. Or maybe B. He's like maybe high B. Uh, Conflagration feels really nice on his weapon if you go for, you know, more of a fun play style. Uh, you could do style play with him too, because he's a uh, a dash character, or he has um he has a dash character in eight, so you could you could do some juggles and stuff with him. Uh, I think it's his Muso too that has the uh, floating orb, and uh, yeah, his jump charge is one of the more fun ones to use with conflagration, because uh, enemies will just fly all over the place and come back to you. It, it feels really nice to use. Uh, when you land on the ground afterwards, you can pop a uh, wep weapon switch and then go straight back into it again. It, it just feels really fun to play that way. But yeah, B, B to your character. Okay, guys, so next is Joe Yu. Now, he's interesting, right? Because on paper, and yeah, like on paper, he's supposed to be pretty darn good when it comes to combos, I'd say, because if we've seen how his move set function in like strike force or something like that there was a lot of obviously in general there's a lot of options in strike force but particularly the staff feels pretty nice in that game uh uh but i feel like he got kind of done dirty in some regards like for example his air normal doesn't true combo enemies can actually tech out of it um I think he's, even his jump charge is just techable off the rip, off the rip for some reason, which is st a strange design choice there. Uh, let's see. His Muso 2 is nice because you can pair it with Air Muso. They kind of synergize with each other, to my belief. Uh, it's been a while since I used Joe Yu um, in Dynasty Warriors 8. Um... I mean, yeah, that's that's basically it. And uh, I would say Joe Yu, as a result from sort of not really having much options. I mean, his EX, what is it, his EX uh, 2 or EX 1, sorry, uh, can be used infinitely in combos, which is nice. I think it's a true combo. I would say he's like probably right here. Um... I mean, the added addition of being able to sort of wave dash with the weapon switch. Weapon switch in general is not a true combo, sadly. Enemies can tech out of that. Uh, it's just... You know, it doesn't look too good for him, I'd say. Uh, he is a dash character. So that's why I'm going I'm to put him in B for now. I guess that's a little controversial too, but uh, just... Me personally, his weapon doesn't really feel too fluid, but yeah, that's my opinion there. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll say Guan Yu. This is not Guan Yu. Gan Ning. Uh, let's go over it. So his Musos don't have combo combo applications, but they're you know they're good combo enders. Uh, his EX one hard splats. So it gets a hard knockdown and his weapon has built in pop up on it. So like you can pop enemies that are hard knocked down um, from the uh, from off the ground into the air with uh, charge one. 
uh, um, his weapon benefits a lot from all in frost if you want to go for c5 um, and on top of that weapon switch can actually be fine mid juggle if you have a weapon to sort of pick up combos afterwards with it like for example the boomerang uh, yeah I'd say Gaoning is actually an A tier character um, he has some options there in 8 his EX1 could be a little tricky to hit uh, mid juggle I would say actually don't even try to go for it mid juggle in Dice Warriors 8 but in Warriors Rochi 4 it, it, the problems have actually been alleviated quite a bit um, I would say he's even better in Orochi 4 uh, because of being a power character and guard cancels and stuff uh, makes it more crispy to play as so yeah he's an A tier character for that Dao Chao um hmm I'd say Dao Chao is a her air normal is kind of busted you can infinitely stun enemies with it I think even in Dice Warriors 8 it doesn't flip the enemy off their feet you can kind of infinite stun them uh and on top of that, she's in general good asset for juggles. She's a dash character in Dice Warriors 8. She's, you know, a speed character in or Orochi 4. And she's actually a pretty decent character to have on your team for combos, I'd say. I, I actually find myself using her quite often uh, in Orochi 4 uh, as of recent. Um, but yeah, she's just overall got better in Orochi 4, I'd say. Her air Muso actually has some juggle applications to it if used properly um her tantrum blast has some decent range i would say and her muso 2 in uh dinosaurs 8 is a you know pretty nice combo ender so yeah she's she's just overall solid character i'd actually put her a tier as well uh simply because you can actually use weapon switch as well to you know combo afterwards if you have a if you pair it with the uh, right weapon so yeah okay Lee Dian I'm not gonna lie boom uh, his weapon feels horrible to use uh, I don't know why they designed them like that that's probably gonna ruffle some feathers there but me personally I am not a fan of his uh, moveset me and Tetsu actually talked about how bad his moveset feels and is it it's not very good uh, his Musos are I don't even remember his Musos. He's like one of the more forgettable characters. Um, at least to me personally in Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> That's Lee Dian. I'm going to put him in D tier. Uh, Zhang Bao. I feel like people not don't give him his roses. He's actually pretty solid in that game. Uh, he has, you know, the Zhang Fei Rar attack with his Muso 2, I believe. Uh... His, yeah, he has some decent moves. Uh, I would say though, um, conflagration is going to be your best friend when it comes to his moveset. Uh, it just basically completes it. So, yeah, uh, I would put him probably like a uh, high C, probably low B tier, probably like right here, maybe. Um, I mean, yeah, he has some stuff in Orochi Four. I'm pretty sure he's. No, good in that game too. Uh, I don't know if he's a power character though. I gotta check. But yeah, from the knowledge that I know, I, now to be fair, I don't, I don't, I didn't play him as of recent. But uh, from what I remember, he's actually a decent character with the right assets put on him. So yeah, um, this is probably gonna be our first and only F tier. Uh, he's and it's pretty well known in the community. Uh, his Sabaton, or if that's what it's called, sorry if I but butchered the name, uh, is one of the worst feeling weapons probably ever. Even worse than the sort of out, quote unquote, you know, outdated older Muso games and how those games kind of flow. Um, you know, think of like Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, you know, Samurai Warriors 1, 2. Uh, in those games, it probably, you know, the combat can feel a little dated. Uh, and this somehow feels a lot worse uh it, you cannot whiff the attacks you have to hit an enemy uh in order to do combos and even at that is it still feels clunky um 
His air normal is one of the, one of the more jarring ones I've seen. It's weird. It like insta insta like splats the enemy and they can just like insta tech out of it. It's really weird. He's a technique character too, and um, from what I hear in the community, people are not too fond of technique characters. Uh, even though there are utilities with technique characters, you can dash. Um, like for example, when you dash, uh, do your shadow dash or whatever, or your technique dash, you can switch to the next character and not get an attack animation to play out which is pretty important for uh, certain combo routes and stuff so there's that but he you know he lacks range he lacks a sort of a cohesive way to transition into combos or or at least with for them to feel good and yeah he's an f-tier character i mean he, also his muso one has some horrendous range uh yeah it's kind of jarring how they made him that way Oh, oh, and another thing, his C, uh, what is it, the C3, which usually typically would in, with the Warriors cast, it's usually a stun. His sometimes don't even stun. It'll just, the enemy will be like, uh, okay, you just kind of did that. Kind of just jumped on my neck and, you know, you know, massage my neck there. Thanks for that. That's basically what he does. Uh, so, yeah, F tier. Hey, belongs in the trash. Now, we have another S tier character here, Wang Yi. Um, <laughs> it's funny because uh, I hear pretty often that the sort of revitalized movesets or the updated movesets that uh, the, um, you know, the Empire's character has gotten, um, Dice Wars 8 Empire's changes, the weapon changes, they, they don't, people aren't too fond of them. But I would just say this right now. As far as like combo Andy stuff, go, style play, juggle, all that stuff, the just the the sort of that fighting game esque uh, sort of sense when you apply that knowledge within uh, a you know when you're playing this game. She's an S tier character. She's like she's like right here. Uh, let's talk about it. Um, her. Her, um, I don't even know what her weapons are called. The pier It's like piercing something. But basically, uh, it's a grapple-based moveset that requires the enemy to stay on the ground. Now, that may sound like a weakness, but her, C her C3 restands enemies. If you, uh, first it does a hard knockdown, and then you can restand them with charge one. And so that puts them in a stun state, and you can do basically all your movesets afterwards. Um, and then in the middle of the animations of doing your grapples, you can actually weapon switch and pop the enemy back up in the air. So she's a complete, she has a complete kit, basically. Um, her Musa one is one of my favorites, probably in eight, uh, empires. It just looks really nice. Um, and she's, I would say she's over, she's just as good in Orochi four, if not a tiny bit better, uh, just because there's more ways to kind of, you know, toy around with her, her moveset. But yeah, she's a very fluid character. Uh, yeah, S-tier character for sure. Uh, Shahu Doom. Shahu Doom, his air muso juggles, his jump charge, actually, with his weapon is actually pretty nice in uh, Dice Warriors 8. You can actually pick up some combos you would think that you couldn't uh, with it, but yeah, it's, it's actually really good. It for, it has like a good forward advancing distant, distance on it, so it feels really nice to use. One of the better jump charges. Uh, um, he can shoulder he can instant shoulder charge by hitting uh, Y Y uh, square really quickly. And you can just instant shoulder charge, and that can be a great way to reposition enemies, or just to overall just you know kind of get out of the thick of battle, or if you're like you know surrounded by enemies or whatever it may be, or maybe you just want to shoulder charge around. He has that. So um, sometimes, at least from my testing, Muso two links into Muso one uh, because that's how great the goddamn range is on that move. Is is beautiful does great damage too 
Uh, only weakness I would say is the weapon switch animation is pretty long. Uh, but a character that overall got more benefits out of sort of um, you know being a power character, right? He's a power character, so he can guard cancel his moves and stuff and do some fancy stuff there. So I would say he's probably like. Probably like a beat, high B tier. Um, yeah. Uh, Shaho Yuan. I'm going to put him right here too. Uh, the reason being is Conflagration helps out a lot with his weapon. It actually feels very fluid. Uh, I almost at one point where I would say is essential to kind of put it on him. Uh, if also I should mention in order to get Conflagration, you must do, what is it? rampage and challenge and challenge mode and if you play extreme legends uh so yeah put conflagration on his weapon for sure uh if you want to do some combos and stuff uh his ex1 is really good his ex2 i would say is actually a little disappointing to the point that it's actually kind of underwhelming uh but the rest of his kit is pretty nice, I'd say. Um, C6 can be a little busted with, if you have the right stuff on the weapon. Uh, he's a Technic character in, in Orochi 4, which is actually really nice. His jump charge is really good in Orochi 4 as well. Um, yeah, overall, a solid character. Uh, you would not think that he, he was that solid, but he's actually a damn solid character. Uh, yeah. Um, Guan Yu, he had, okay, so his jump charge, but not jump charge, sorry, his air Muso rejuggles, his, his Muso 1 rejuggles, his Muso 2 is an excellent way to close out combos, um, his, his charge 1 is very busted if you pair it with his EX 1, it's just really the scaling could get a little nuts if you, especially if you have certain skills like I don't know, like slay or and all that other crazy stuff. He he can, he's a little crazy. Uh, that's why sometimes I find myself using barricade when using Gon Yu. Like I put it on his weapon because that's just how powerful this dude is. Um, on top of that, conflagration goes a, lo a long way. I made a video talking about why you should put conflagration on Gon Yu. It's basically essential. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I would also say, like, um, one could argue his weapon doesn't feel the best. And I would, you know, agree with that to an extent. It can feel a little, little, little clunky. But overall, like, even with velocity and stuff on it. Well, it, it feel, I would say it feels better in Dynasty Warriors 8 than in Orochi 4. Um, but with that being said, yes, he's... He's, I would say he's S tier, but I want to really just kind of factor in everything. Dude, he's like high A, borderline S, um, because he has more utility musos, conflagration again goes a long way. Actually, dude, he's like an S. What, who am I kidding? He's S. He has a lot of damage if you want it. Um, he has a lot of range, a lot of juggles. Uh, conflagration again a lot of lot of lot of stuff going for him so yeah he's a he's a probably low s tier i would say that gone uh, gone gunning would be s tier too if his musos had rejuggle capabilities but yeah so guan yin ping or i'll say guan yin ping sorry guan ping there's so many of these guans uh guan ping is interesting the the great tour can feel clunky or slow uh which is duh is a great sword right his muso 2 rejuggles his air muso what does that do i forget does that rejuggle too i'm not sure conflagration again this is another weapon with confl conflagration on um I would say he's like C. It's like like C maybe. Yeah, he's like you know 
not not bad like high high c tier there and, you know i'd say c is a bit you know in on the average side it's, it's not bad it's like bordering on bad but it's like you know more averaging out there so um yeah he's definitely i'd say he's a c tier character uh he, he definitely got more help in uh, Orochi for uh, he's a technique character that that can help him a lot with the you know the dashes and stuff air dashes and whatnot uh, probably not a lot but still there's help there okay so Chingong Chingong is going to be a he's interesting uh, he's a dash character uh, Hmm. I would say Chingong is probably like uh probably low B. He has you know his jump charge is pretty nice for picking up combos in eight. Uh his C6 can feel a little unusable, but his C5 is nice. His I think his C his uh, C five the the EX move he does can be used in juggles as well. You just need to have the right timing and you need to turn behind you yourself whenever the 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 um, phantom hits the enemy behind you. You can actually juggle afterwards. So he has some fancy stuff there, but yeah, it makes him a B tier character. Um, weapon switch is very very slow. That's the only downside. So, yeah, that's Chingong. Um, oh, buddy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna get some hate for this. He's like D. Um, I haven't put conflagration on his weapon, so this more so comes from a mixture of a lack of knowledge and also from what I've seen. Uh, his weapon can feel a bit a bit weird to use uh, for juggles and whatnot. Uh, I would definitely say his weapon is more of a you switch to this weapon to sort of end out combos. It's not a combo initiating weapon. Uh, I would say you really would have to like that weapon in order to his well his weapon the great axe to use it. Um, I would personally not use this. Is one of the few weapons in the game I would probably really never touch um but yeah uh for again lack of knowledge and testing he's a d tier okay so chong wei right um or chong hui i don't know how to pronounce the name uh, again forgive me uh if i butcher a lot of these names i'm I'm, I'm I'm not very knowledgeable of the proper pronunciations for everything, but yeah. So I'm gonna tell you right now, a tier character. Um, let's go over it. So EX one is has great recovery, does great damage, has great meter build to it. Um, his jump charge can be done constantly over and over if you want to. So maybe you want to reposition the enemy. Uh. You know whatever that may that may be um he has that his muso 2 has regional capabilities though i would say be mindful of terrain because terrain does factor in whether a combo is successful or not so do keep in mind of that uh his weapon switch is pretty nice especially if you um want to ha use a weapon or a power-up animation he can definitely utilize that uh, uh, his Musa one has is a great combo ender, and you know we're talking about Dynasty Warriors eight here, right? Uh, he's you know he's just as I would say he's just as good in Orochi four, right? He didn't get worse, so yeah, he's an eight tier character. Um, yeah. Oh man. We have Sal Sal's bodyguard here. 
It's Yushu, right? Or Shushu? Um, okay, so he's interesting, right? So he's a power character. He can cancel his moves, but he don't doesn't really get much mileage out of that from what I've tested. Uh, his weapon is not a, a, a combo initiator kind of weapon. So you want to probably equip that in your second slot. Um, I would also say keep a mental note like uh not a mental note but basically or I, I would say yeah um so obviously when you you do sort of the style play or juggle play when you play these games uh you want to target obviously non playable officers um but whenever you go from you know that officer to the next be sure to get on your horse and switch weapons if you don't want to just like switch weapon on the ground or something maybe it feels bad to do but make sure you always have your combo initiating weapon out i i.e let's say um hook hook swords dual hook swords will be your combo initiating weapon and then for you know shishu you know the, maybe the uh hammer would be your um, or the club would be your combo ending weapon. Once you end the combo, you switch back to the hook swords and approach the next officer. So basically do something like that. You know, all weapons aren't made equally, but this his weapon does get mileage out of conflagration. So um, for that, I would say like he's like C, maybe like low C tier. Uh, C5 also juggles, in, or you can grapple enemies midair, which is really nice. Uh, we like to see that. Um, being able to juggle or grapple enemies while they're in the air uh, because you can utilize all and frost for that um but yeah that goes a long way oh man wow <laughs> jotai s tier character um it goes without saying his muso one it rejuggles uh his air muso does great damage has nice range to it a great combo ender uh he has his every basically every charge move he does he can weapon switch out of it and be able to do stuff afterwards this dude is just a solid character very solid moveset um c6 is a great combo ender uh c c4 into ex it, you know he freezes enemies midair uh, he has a lot of utility built in and it sort of felt like it, it sort of feels like that the the um devs had sort of that juggle play style in mind when making jotai um so yeah uh s tier character of course it goes without question um who's this who's this fella uh, uh you can tell you can tell i'm tired it's one it's one o'clock in the morning Zhang He, right? Zhang He. Um, Zhang He. Okay, so we have. I'm not too familiar with his Musos, but his moveset I've used a lot. Uh, the it, they're just very good weapons, dude. They're they're just great weapons. Uh, air normals you can combo into, you know. Basically, a lot of his moves into air normals and land on the ground and then be able to attack afterwards. Uh, weapon switch is a true combo. Um, everything just flows together really well with that weapon. It has great mobility. You don't even need the uh, dash or the claw skill equipped in eight in order to do the dashes. Uh, that's how great this weapon is, dude. It is for that alone, he's like probably like right here, dude. Yeah, he's like right here, maybe or right here. Let's say because I'm not too familiar with his musos. I, I they don't come to mind when I when thinking of anything. But yeah, so now we got Jung Liao. Uh, sadly, Jung Liao doesn't really have much combo applications. He's more of a go in and kill stuff really fast kind of character. Um, hence why he has like power ups that increases damage and speed and stuff and he's like a basically like another Lu Bu in a way. 
I do believe you can do C5, though, into Weapon Switch, though. I think C5 is not a... Uh, doesn't fall under the don't double launch rules. So, there might be that. That needs further testing. But, from what I know, he's probably going to be, like, right here. His, wep his weapons aren't terribly, terribly bad. Uh, but him having Whirlwind... Oh, we'll we'll get to whirlwind. We'll get to whirlwind. And, and why I, I can't stand that skill. But anyways, Jung Zhao. What what what's this guy name? I forgot his name. Jung Zhao, right? Um, his weapon feels. It feels aight, right? Uh, it doesn't. It's kind of clunky though. Got like some knockbacks, mo knockback moves. Uh, weapon switch has the explosions everywhere, and that could feel a little RNG if you're gonna pick up a combo. Um, jump charge is not very good for combo applications. Uh, Aeronormal is not fast enough on recovery frames in order to utilize its, you know, the uh, dash skill. Um, move my controller right here, but, uh, hmm, I'd say Jeng Zhao is like probably like a C tier somewhere, probably like, let's put him like right here, dude, I don't know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put him here, okay, so Jung Fei, Jung Fei, uh, his moveset is good. He has the Waki Slush, you know, the drink, uh, which is, his, you know, charge one. Um, that's extra damage, I believe. Uh, weapon switch juggles. Enemies can't take out of that. Um, let me think. Everything flows together pretty well, I'd say. Uh, C5 can be, you can grab enemies midair. Yeah, uh, Jung Fei is probably mm, B, somewhere in B. I'd say the only weakness is the fact that he can't get, really get much mileage out of his Muso attacks. So, for that alone, it kind of bumps him down. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's Jung Fei. Okay, so now we go over Zinji, and um, she is definitely probably like high A, um, because in Orochi 4, well, outside of Orochi 4, let's just talk about her kit in general. So we have a combo initiating Muso, which is her... Um, frost moves and that freezes you know that freezes enemies it, it can feel a little rng of course of course the time is a little rng but um just being able to sort of um freeze enemies ahead of time and then just kind of gauge how you want to go about the battle is pretty important uh her moose her charge one uh, slows down enemies while they're in the air, which is nice. So you can just do a bunch of combos, a bunch of charge moves without having to worry about them, you know, getting out of it or getting out of the air, which is pretty big in uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 because the juggle timing is a little strict in that game compared to Orochi 4 where the combat feels a little bit more floaty. Um, but uh, she's a technique character, which actually benefits her quite a bit in Orochi 4. Uh, she gets a lot, of, a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, I'd say also a quick tip: do not use her, um, Muso one as like sort of like a combo ender for her, and at least in Orochi four for my testing, it feels so super inconsistent. Uh, maybe her Muso two and Dinosaur's A is probably like the go to, but yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, she's a solid character. She's an A tier character for sure. Uh, 
So just an overview, her she has ways to freeze enemies to initiate combos. She has grapples with her EX uh, EX1 that causes a hard knockdown state. You can pop enemies back up with her jump charge. Uh, uh, maybe if you land back on the ground, you can throw in a, a charge one to slow them down from the ground, and you can just do a bunch of charge moves as you please. And the you know the morass, I think it's called the morass uh, ability, is built into that charge one. Uh, but yeah, just an overall very solid character. Din Din Ding Thong Ding. Oh, sorry, this is my chair, by the way. This this thing this thing needs some WD forty uh, or whatever it's called. Um, but anyways, my boy is, uh, my boy is probably like a, somewhere in a C tier. I, I haven't used much, him much, um, uh, what is, you know, his updated weapon, he, his moveset seems like it has potential, but again, more so placement is more so from a lack of knowledge than anything uh i do know that his grapple move is probably one of the most disrespectful things i've ever seen in my life uh this dude is just grabs you by the face and just throws you across the field like like you're nothing like that's that's outright disrespectful um but yeah that he he goes to you know c tier just his placement again lack of knowledge more than anything uh Zhu Zhu Rong, right? Zhu Rong. Uh she's definitely dude, she's like A tier to S tier. It's like A S A S A S. Um let's put her in low S. Uh she has hands down the best utility weapon in the game in of Dice Wars 8. Uh this thing can pick up combos from a mile away with weapon switch. Uh, you can cancel the weapon switch to then, you know, you know, jump where the enemy is and continue to combo. This is one of those definitive, I can do whatever the hell I want type weapons. You can quite literally just use the boomerang and do whatever you want. Um, and Dice Warriors 8, they're, they're, you're, you're basically him slash her. Uh, those are pronouns. Anyways, yeah. Uh... Yeah, there's that's her. Um Yeah, I think her EX was her EX one or two. One of the, one of the ones where she spins around the flame spin, that's a true combo. Um I think her C five is a true combo. I could be wrong. I could be tripping. Um But yeah, that is her uh S tier character, a little S tier, I would say. Um, yeah, mm, oh, like probably like put her like right here, maybe just because her weapon heart carries the hell out of her in eight in Orochi four. I think, believe she's a power character, which in which case she actually becomes a lot worse, actually. So, yeah, let's put her back down here, maybe. I'll just put her right there for now, but yeah, in Orochi four, she's definitely worse. She had way more options than eight. Uh, not way more, but just more options. Link Tong. Uh, hmm. Okay, weapon switch is bad. One of the one of the slowest from my testing, at least. Um, Muso one hard or yeah, Muso one hard splash the enemy, which is you know hard knockdown state. Very nice, very clean stuff there. Uh, I believe jump. Air Muso can rejuggle the enemy. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's that. Uh, let me think. C, it was a C5. Yes, I believe a C5 can feel a little clunky. There's this infamous, uh, uh glitch where if you grapple an enemy they can kind of teleport behind you like you know and it's like hey i'm, I'm behind you buddy um that that's pretty common with this weapon sadly uh and on top of that you can't do it when an enemy is midair they'll just they'll just tech 
Hmm. But his, you know, his charge three has some of the best, like, hit, like, hit gain, like, hits, like, how many hits you can get in a certain amount of time. It has it's probably some of the best in that regard, uh, especially if you want to get Rage Muso from the Phantom or something like that in the Rochi 4. Uh, definitely a character you want to switch to and just spam a bunch of those and then just finish them off with a charged magic attack or a unique magic attack. Um... Hmm. Uh, also, his weapon isn't really necessarily neutered too much uh, from the air normal recovery um, patch that they did to a um, uh, Dice Wars 8 onward, um, where you can actually just kind of flow around and just attack and... Uh, or do air normals and be just fine uh, recovery wise on most terrain so yeah he's like maybe like right here mm, yeah let's put him right there in eight here uh Xiao Xiao. uh in a, one of my videos i called her the queen of combos uh she's um yeah she's the most and she's inadvertently one of the most broken characters I've seen in modern Musou games. Like she probably is up there with just the most some of the most broken. Uh her jump charge, her infamous jump charge with her um the, the little fan moves where she can kind of fly around and stuff. It's so unbelievably broken. Uh yeah that's yeah if you know you know she also have her wave dashes that makes her like a, a goddamn crackhead uh so but yeah she's definitely up there i'd say um as far as combos go uh in orochi 4 i think she's probably about the same she didn't like improve or you know degradate in any ways uh She's definitely, you know, the same. Wei Yan. Um, hmm. Yeah, I used him, sadly, bro, is, has some nice moves, like, as far as, like, like combo enders go. But he does, he's not necessarily a combo-oriented character. Um... Again, I haven't tested with conflagration, so again, another, uh, you know, another case of lack of knowledge more than anything. But I do know his musos aren't really too good for combo enders, but however, they are very good in the range and damage department. Uh, but yeah. So now we got, what's his name? What the, what's his brother? Lu Lusu? Um, I think he's a tiny bit slept on, uh, his weapon switch actually does combo uh you can do juggles with it um i think one of his musos have combo applications as well uh he's just his weapon actually not too bad i, I would actually put him in b tier probably like right here he's not he actually not that bad um yeah my, my boy going b tier uh This is Sima, Sima Shur. Sima Shur, he, his Muso 2, I believe, rejuggles. He yeah, juggles. Uh, his charge 3 restance enemies, uh, regardless of if they're juggled or not, which is really, really nice. Uh, he can kind of fly around the field too. He kind of have that, that, that kind of, that, uh, that it factor when it comes to uh, <laughs> juggles and, combos and stuff he has that going for him um yeah yeah i'm gonna say he's another another a tier character i'd say yeah he, yeah he's pretty solid and then if you do c3 you can weapon switch away from the enemy and sort of have more t enough time depending on the weapon you switch to the 
continue to do combos afterwards. So, um, yeah, he got that going for him. Uh, yeah, A tier character. Okay, Sun Jian. Uh, oof, I'm going to say he's uh, S tier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's S tier for sure. His Musa one, if the enemy is standing, hard knockdown. It does a hard splat. Uh, so good for initiating combos. Uh, everything basically works together except, I think, like C5. And of course, like, you know, charge two. Nobody does a charge two in the middle of a combo unless it's like maybe Joe Tai with his follow up. Oop, what the hell? What is follow up blue slashes? Hopefully, I didn't mess up anything here. But yes, follow up blue slashes um, can do, you know, juggle or continue to combo afterwards. But he, um, Sun Jian is a very solid character. On top of that, I think his Air Muso has some of the best range as far as Air Musos go in the entire Dynasty Warriors 8 cast. Uh, I've definitely got jump scared by it a couple of times throughout my career. Uh, yeah. Saw the character. Weapon switch works. Mid juggle. Um, shallow sprint is nice. He's a power character in the Rochi 4. Yeah, I'd imagine he's still pretty pretty solid in that game too. I mean, power character guard cancels. His moveset's pretty nice. So yeah. S low S tier uh, for now. The Yu Bay. Uh, a character what I, I would also say has a lot of utility in his kit um you can do literally you can do c2 into c3 into c4 into weapons with like you could do mad stuff with his weapon um i though i you know i find his weapon to be you know a little bit on the bland side because i've seen it so many times however i can't acknowledge that liu bei has been pretty darn his weapons has been pretty darn good uh yeah his Muso 1 has decent range. Muso 2 could look a little flashy as a combo ender. Air Muso feels a little little jank. Little 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 jank on the hitbox department. I'm pretty sure actually it can stun enemies as a combo initiator. Um don't quote me on that, but I do remember something like that. Uh but with that being said, Liu Bei is probably like a high A tier. Um just really really solid dude like um in orochi 4 i feel like he is just just as good he's probably just as good yeah so yeah guan yin ping another character that desperately needs conflagration uh uh she doesn't really get, get much much mileage out of her weapon just as is you would have to keep her ex to ex one or two what's the one where she power up the that pre-buffed all the time and that that can feel a little annoying i guess to to do that's like busy work and we don't play dynasty words for busy work so um uh conflagration is the way to go all on top of that the three she has the 360 motion mechanic was just absolutely busted um it, it, it the scaling of it is nuts you can just one shot mad stuff if you over over tune your weapon uh her weapon switch can actually pop up grounded enemies from the ground but i don't think they go up much high that's just a little weird fact for you her muso one is probably one of the more underwhelming musos i've seen in dynasty warriors it's like up there with my boy here uh or down there i should say uh, it's kind of jarring to give her such a basic looking move uh, for her Muso 1. Uh, her Muso 2 is, you know, is more fitting for her personality. Uh, Muso, her Air Muso, I am, or I am aware that in what, you know, the, the knowledge from Tetsuo, he told me that a lot of the devs had to, you know, put a tack on a bunch of ground pounds and stuff on the character, so I'm not holding that against them at all. Um, they did. Dynasty Wars 8 was a pretty ambitious game uh, for the for the most part. Uh, so uh I would say she's like like probably like high C tier. Uh 
what you know conflagration and everything like that like that you could argue she's like probably like b tier or something but just because her kit doesn't feel the greatest uh i'm putting her in high c tier fa, fa zhang fa zhong i forgot his name magic carpet fellow a nice utility weapon he has uh you can probably do some six setups with it uh i am not that big brain so um for the big brain people out there they can utilize that as they deem fit uh to uh do 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 to do uh wait that didn't sound right but anyways yeah i would say he's yeah he's like no right like low a uh his uh what's his charge to ex is nice um that thing is really nice actually weapon switch you can actually get it mid juggle if you get the enemy just right at the right height bit of a high skill ceiling thing to do but uh yeah it's kind of like a one mississippi two mississippi thing is pretty pretty strict uh, i'd say don't even try to go for it unless you're trying to do like a combo video or something like that uh c6 is consistent uh pizza time can be a little inconsistent like you'll try like when you uh, do c was a c3 and um that can feel like the enemy don't want to get into it sometimes but yeah there's that uh shu hong shu uh ho jong ho I forgot his name, dude. God dang. I'm like poo brain right now. His name is Ho Zhong. Ho, ho, I, dude, I'm not even going to try. Anyways, bow guy. Bow fella. Uh, nice, again, yet another character that has a lot of utility in his weapon, his kit. Um, see, uh, his... His EX... Actually, his buff and ZX moves are pretty nice. Um, I don't think they're both true combos, though. Wait, probably you could probably use C, his uh, EX uh, to as a juggle move. I'm not really sure. I do remember it using it multiple times in, in a juggle before. I could be tripping. Um, his moves aren't really good for combos, though, for, or for juggles. I gotta really differentiate the two because you can use them in combos, but they don't necessarily juggle the enemy or keep the enemy in the air so you can, you know, sort of do combos afterwards. Uh, weapon switch is really nice. It's a frost arrow that pretty much guarantee uh, freezes the enemy if they're like standing. Uh, This game, this also this weapon could be really busted if you like do like C three or something like that. You can chunk the enemy down quite a bit if you overtune your weapon. Uh, he's a character that benefited a lot in the Rogue four as well, uh, with the uh, on the fly weapon or on the fly character switching that you can do. Um, he benefited a lot from that, so I would say he's probably like B, like probably like. I like right here <laughs> fitting these guys um pong uh, tong or yeah uh i would say his weapon is a little bit high skill ceiling in dice warriors 8 to do like sort of like flashy combos and stuff um i would say it's pretty important to do instant air normal with him uh From the limited knowledge I know about him, I'm gonna just put him like probably B tier as well. Also, I'm getting a little tired, so <sighs> I'm trying to hang in there. But anyways, um, Zhang Hui, Zhang Zhang Wei, right? Uh, everything flows together nicely. His Shadow Sprint Eight is pretty pretty decent. EX2, EX1 are very good 
just in general nice nice little stay in the air bro moves uh if you paired his ex1 with shoulder charge you're just fine um ex or sorry charge char what is it charge no musa one heart splats the enemy uh you can get some mileage out of that though my timing for to do a jump charge to pick up the combo is very bad um yeah uh i'd say he's just an overall really good character weapon switch juggles two uh he has air combos that can transition into jump charge i'd say he's probably high a tier probably like, or high, high not high a tier high beat no low a tier hmm yeah, I'm gonna just put him right there by Dutch out. But yeah. I'm just gonna call her Bao. Because I can't pronounce her name. I don't wanna attempt to. Uh basically she's she's a nice character, right? Her weapon switch is much like the Ubay's is instant. Sort of has like a shockwave to it, so you can just get more mile you know, a lot of mileage out of it. Uh her moves flow together pretty well um i'm trying to think here her jump charge yeah you got to do her jump charge her air normal actually enemies can tech out of that um i believe her musa one has juggle capabilities am i tripping i don't know i, I think that's that's the case yeah, she's another, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty decent character, uh, I would say. Yeah, she's, she's another decent character, A tier. Ah, uh, my boy, oof, this is getting rough, it's going to get a little, a little, little bit rough. Lian, uh, uh, sorry. Liu Shan is a D tier character. And it's only for one reason, only. His stool, his little dragon stool, whatever it's called, goes against sort of the muscle memory a lot of us warriors players have, which is reposition reposition our ca uh, camera. Sorry, I can't even speak. I'm like having a stroke. Uh, but we reposition our camera to, you know, keep up to, up where the enemy is. Um, his weapon goes against that. It's a parry. So you'll sit there like, okay, let me, I'm going to do this little, this, you know, this combo here and I'm going to reposition the camera because maybe, I, you know, the, you know, the enemy's not very centered in my, my, my POV. Yeah. This guy says, eh, I don't want you to do that. And then you go, yeah, I don't want to use you. Right. So that, that's, that's the sort of thing that happens there. Um, not familiar with his musos or anything like that. I am familiar with his moveset in in vanilla eight and stuff, but again, the dude has just never really been too too great. Um, on top of that, he got shoe packed up, so screw that guy. Anyways, uh, if we was counting personality wise, bro is kind of a one day one dude. Like he 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 has your back. He's like the, the the friend you would always want, but we're talking about move sets here. This dude is a goddamn D tier. He was pretty great in seven, I'd say. And there's probably still some tech you can do in eight and in, in um a, a Rochi four, but his move set feels so bad to me. Um, so for that I put him in D tier. Sorry, but. I don't, it's not even personal, it's just how it feels to me personally, it just doesn't uh, feel too good. Um, Zhuo Si, right? That's his name. Um, hmm. He, he's interesting, so his, his charge one is nice, his air, his jump charge is actually pretty good too. Um, 
Weapon switch does knockback, so maybe you would want to put conflagration on his weapon. Haven't tested that. Uh, I'd say he's like a B. It's probably like a B. It's probably like, like probably like right here. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dong Ai again. Uh, going back to what people were were saying about you know the changes made to the weapons and another character, and, and I would say all characters except this bastard. Um, basically got buffs, right? They their movesets got changed for the better. Uh, Dong Ai is no exception. Uh, his his revolving crossbow. I'm just gonna go ahead and debunk a lot of things people say. Or at least assume about it. They say it's like it's not as good as the drill. That's a lie. Um, it's I would argue it's it just has better utility than the drill. It ha obviously has more range. You can shoot projectiles. There's a 360 rotating mechanic with it uh, with C1, where you can you know get some shots off, build some meter and stuff. And um, his jump charge is probably one of the more flashy ones. On top of that, is a true combo. You can land before the enemy and do juggles afterwards. Uh, um, what else? His his Muso one is an improvement over his one the one that he had with the drill, simply because enemies cannot tech out of it, to my knowledge. Whereas enemies can at times tech out of Muso one, but believe it or not, uh, the drill Muso one. I am not kidding you. Uh, it has happened to me uh, that where the move doesn't fully hit for some weird reason. Um, weapon switch is a true combo. Um, yeah, he's just overall everything just melds together pretty well. Uh, and for that, I would say he's probably he's out there, dude. He's he's a he's like a tier. It's like a probably low a tier. Um, yeah, and his attack, his weapon attacks, his weapon attacks pretty uh, faster than you think if you put velocity 10 on it. Um, yeah, I'd say Dung Eye is one of my favorite Dynasty Warriors characters, but uh, I feel like they were sort of going for this Rambo esque character and they kind of nailed it with a revolving uh, crossbow. Definitely give the weapon a try. It's not as bad as you think. Uh, yeah. When... What's his name? Because uh, I cannot think. Wang... Wait, what's his name? Wen Yang. Yeah, Wen Yang. His moveset feels... At least on PC. I, I don't quite remember it feeling this bad on console. For some reason. But on PC... His C3 can phase through the enemy. One of the hits can phase through the enemy. It's weird. Uh, but I will say this. He has the best, hands down, the best, excuse me, utility Muso in the game. Hands down. He has the best one in the game. Uh, up there with Machao. I think his is better than Machao's though. But... Everything else is just negligible. I don't know. It's... Weapon switch has mad knockback to it. Uh, he's probably better in the Rochi four though. Now that I think about it, but probably not much so that where it's like worth going through the headache or whatever. But anyways, I'll put him C tier. Uh, Shahuba is really good. Uh, Conflagration goes a long way on this character. Um, Weapon Switch can juggle. Only downside is that damn Whirlwind, which makes things not knock up as high as they should. Um, or as they could, I'd say. Um... You know, he's he's pretty decent. He's pretty decent. I'm going to give him a... Probably like a B tier. 
something something like that, right? Uh, I think none of his Musos juggle though, which is not too good. Uh, like I said, weapon switch works. Everything else works if you have conflagration. It, his weapon doesn't feel too bad. Uh, Junk to law. Let me think. She's like mid B, right? So she's like, or maybe like somewhere like right here. Because her moveset, everything flows together. Every single thing. I think even both their EXs are untouchable. I could be wrong about that. Um, you can do air normals and lay on the ground safely and be able to do, do combos afterwards. Uh, Mid-juggle. Solid character. Weapon switch works. Nice stuff. Okay, Dong Zhuo. He's a whirlwind character, so automatically yikes. His EX one is not a true combo because if for some reason enemies can tech out of the normal charge before the EX even even hits. Uh, the slam dunk is actually pretty nice if you you know utilize it with C four. Uh, you can slam them on the ground, and I believe it's a hard knockdown. I'm not sure. I, I believe it is though. Um. Again, another weapon you want to put Frost and All on. Uh, because after that C six, when you do his uh, C six move, which can be done in enemies in midair, but Dong Zhuo can't utilize that midair because he has goddamn whirlwind. And speaking of whirlwind. The reason why I don't like Rowan is because when it comes to grapple moves, the, you know, the, the moves that are usually on whirlwind weapons, whirlwind pushes them out of range for you to be able to do a grapple move. So that's why I always say use whirlwind weapons on non-whirlwind characters uh, because they get the most mileage out of, out of the weapons, weirdly enough. Um, he gets neutered by his own abilities, um, sadly. So, but yeah, uh, he's like, see, maybe like mid, he's like, like right here. Um, yeah. Okay, so, UNG. She is absolutely, like, busted, right? Like, innate and stuff, she's busted. Of course, we know that. Personally, I don't build her that way in 8. I don't even really use her in 8. Uh, this, yeah. I don't really use her in 8. But, I do know this. In Orochi 4, she is absolutely magnificent character. Um, her utility is just almost perfect, actually. Her air normals, jump charge is, is great. Um, her default um, treasure, which is the uh the boots the like wing boots um even benefits her kit a lot because you know see see uh, jump charge usually has a lot of inertia she can reposition with the boots um she's a very very solid character um everything synergizes together pretty well I, of course there's the downside of being able to initiate combos uh, with with the weapon to get the juggles, but that's easy because you could just I don't know switch to another character and get them in the air, and then you can switch to her. She's is one of the best utility characters in Orochi Four, hands down. I, I'm a stand on that, uh, and for that alone, she's absolutely S tier. I would highly recommend adding her to your team comps if you want to sort of uh, get a lot of utility uh, for combos and juggles and stuff. And you like sort of that faster paced combat that you know some of us may like like us you know or fans of god hand or fans of devil may cry or something like that she feels like that in a way um what her utility so yeah there's that all right so it's lushun lushun hmm his muso one has you know pretty famous for having rejuggle capabilities uh 
His other moves are pretty pretty decent. He has the shoulder charge with Muso too, which is good for closing out combos. Air Muso is very flashy, um, which is great for closing out combos. Uh, his weapon switch is nice, but it's also a little RNG uh, if you want to go for juggles. Sometimes the clone will actually pull the enemy back to you, and you can do some juggles afterwards depending on the weapon. Yeah, but that's that's the, it, the fact that it's RNG is not good, um, unless you have like decent reaction speed. And you can, okay, it worked or it, it worked that time or it didn't work that time. You ain't got time to think about stuff like that as a as a player. You ain't stressing all that. You're just trying to do juggles. You're just trying to just trying to you know do your thing. Also, another thing, his EX1 feels a bit inconsistent. Uh, you can't get that last kickoff before you do um, the you know the rapid swipes with the with the the blades. Um, unless so, I would say option select that in your combos if you know that the enemy is pretty high in the air. If they are not really high in the air, then don't go for it. Um, also, another thing, the camera can be a little disorienting. At, at least in my opinion, uh, uh, and it can make Lucian feel particularly bad. I don't think he feels too great in the Rochi 4, honestly. He does have the attack on Titan attacks with jump charge, a cancel into a weapon switch, and, and then rinse and repeat. Uh, but that's kind of a niche way to play the game. And yeah, Lucian is... <laughs> Kind of like low B, high C. That's that's going to be another controversial one. I, actually, wait, no, he's probably like right here. Uh, probably like right there. And again, this is like for style play and stuff, and just overall kit that he has. It it just doesn't feel, at least in uh, Warriors Rotary Four, it doesn't feel the greatest actually. Because again, they there's Velocity in Dynasty Warriors 8, and then there's Agility in Orochi 4, and then Orochi 4, they did tone down uh, attack speed. They even did it for the Samurai Warriors characters, because you can actually get your attack speed up pretty high in Samurai Warriors 4 and stuff. But, yeah, to my knowledge, like, cause I think that was still in the um, Spirit of Sonata, and, it, and you could attack pretty, pretty gosh darn fast, but yeah, they toned all that down. But anyways... Um, Yue Ying. Uh, her air muscle has rejuggling capabilities. Um, she has the button timing mechanic with her weapon, which is really, really nice. Uh, jump charge is nice. Uh, all that. She's actually just a straight up solid A tier character. Um, very good stuff. Like, uh, you just got to get the timing now. She's another character, a decently high skill ceiling character. If I were to rank it from hardest to, you know, not or hardest to easiest, I'd say she's somewhere in that medium to bordering on hardest to master kind of character because that timing mechanic it does feel a little, little, little um, gambly. You know, feels like sometimes it cheats you out of that. But yeah, she, uh, and when I say hard, it's, this game is not very execution heavy. Um, Dynasty Warriors, or just the Orochi series, or whatever the Warriors game is, um, is not a character action game unless you want it to be. Always remember that. These games are, you know, for fun, for, first and foremost, but if you want to sort of get that more of that satisfaction that you would get from maybe a fighting game that's when you sort of tune into that character action aspect and you know that's you know optional so yeah uh yeah that she yeah high decently high skill ceiling time time those button presses you see those the flash on her definitely press the you know triangle or Y at the proper time and see what happens is that it's actually Pretty amusing seeing what, what she what she has. Lady Soon she, Lady Soon she, you know who she is. She's the bow lady. She's the lady with the with the, the chakrones or whatever it's called. 
um, uh, her her Muso too has great range, but the rest of her kit does not feel good. It does not have good range. You cannot combo into char. Uh, you cannot combo into EX two properly. Uh, enemies get knocked back too far. At least in Dice Warriors eight. Uh, her weapon description or the little you know because every weapon in Dice Warriors eight has sort of a quirk to it. Uh, hers is uh, enemies can be you know hit hit. Like you're supposed to throw the chakrons and they're supposed to like get juggled or whatever. Yeah, no, they tech out of that. Uh, her EX one flows nicely into her air muso. I would say that, but that's about it. Uh, she's also a technique character, but she's one of the few technique characters I say feel pretty damn bad, in my opinion. Uh, simply because of the lack of her lack of range and whatnot. So. Yeah, C tier character. Uh, yeah. Uh, Joe Zhao Yun, the poster boy of Dynasty Warriors. Uh, decently high skill ceiling character here. Uh, the reason why I say that is because, you know, in my opinion, in order to get the most out of the characters, there's you gotta mess around with a lot of their, you know, every aspect of their kit. His weapon switch. Ha is option select heavy like you gotta use it if the enemy is near a wall and even then it can feel a little clunky uh what else instant air normal can be a little hard to execute i would actually encourage using turbo uh as crazy as that sounds if you got turbo in your controller use uh do jump charge or air normal instant air normal just learn that from muscle memory but after doing that just hold a Y or triangle with turbo on. It's just horrendous to, to use it in uh, Dynasty Warriors 8. They made it, the timing so tight for it. Because uh, I would automatically assume you using, you know, max agility or max velocity on every single one of these characters. Uh, and, yeah, Joe Yoon is just, he just feels really bad when that come, when it comes to at least hitting that jump charge after you aired almost. Uh, at least in Dynasty Warriors 8. Conflagration, I do not blame you if you want to use that. Uh, his weapon switch animation has a pretty, it's pretty lengthy, I'd say. Uh, but overall, the character is pretty solid. You know, obviously famous for his Musa 1 being able to juggle afterwards. Um, sometimes it doesn't, but I would say this. Uh, go for C5 or C6. Get that first hit with C6, or that second hit with C6, and then go for the Air Musa, or not Air Musa, but the Musa 1. Uh... C or uh, C five, you know, get that get the slide where he does a slide and then hit him upwards. Then go for the the Musa one. Uh, that's how you will get the most out of the um, juggles and whatnot. You can also do it at the jump charge too. So yeah, there's there's many options. Um, I think it's fitting to put him in A tier. Uh, yeah, just a solid character there. Uh. Sao P. Hmm. He has frost or ice built into his kit, which is always very great. Uh, this is, you know, like I said, that extra layer layer of combo, um, depth that you know these the frost characters have, like you know, like Sao Sao, like and, and all that. Uh, I know uh, Jugadon has something like that too, but we'll get the Jugadon. Um, yeah, I would say he's, uh, maybe like, cause like he, he, his weapon, okay, so he can freeze people, he can switch weapons too, after he frees people, um, I believe he can freeze people midair too, I could be wrong, even Dice Wars out, I believe he can freeze people midair. I could be tripping. I gotta test that. Surprisingly, how popular he is. Oh, sorry. I mean that, but surprisingly, how popular he is. I don't actually use him much. I don't know if enemies can check out a weapon switch too. That's very weird to say. Like I should know this, uh, but 
I'd say he's like, I don't know, man. Like, he's probably like, he's not, he's not there. He's like fighting right here. Like, he's, he's like right here. Probably like a B tier. At least from the knowledge I, I know of him. Did we rank this fella? Let's just put him here. I feel like we, yeah, we ranked him already. Um, Sal Sal. S tier. Uh, S tier character. Uh, he has the same thing, you know, the other characters that have Frost Musos have. Except his his uh, shadow clones are, I would say his moveset is very beginner friendly. Um, except, you know, C5 obviously follows C5 up with a jump charge. But other than that, bro's kit is complete. Even weapon switch. You can weapon switch uh, mid combo. Maybe you're doing some normals and you want to weapon switch. Maybe you're doing some jump or a certain charge. Or maybe you detonated a clone and then you go into weapon switch. Everything works. Um, this dude is, in my opinion, sort of the definitive beginner character, uh, probably besides like, uh, Umi Ube or something. Uh, Sao Sao is very, very nice. Um, yeah. Um, another great character we have here, Sao Ren. Uh, his weapon is, um, ranked amongst, in my opinion, one of the best utility weapons in the game uh the weapon switch is fast uh everything works he gets a lot of mileage out of conflagration so i encourage i encourage you to put it on that weapon um he's like a tier he's like up there dude he's a tier he's probably like right here Um, very, very good moveset. In Orochi 4, I think he, I think range overall got neutered, because I'm thinking about it, uh, Rage Musos have been toned down damage-wise, and I believe range-wise, uh, and I think overall range has been toned down in, uh, Orochi 4. Now, don't quote me on that, but it dang sure does feel like it, so, uh, and you can kind of feel it in the Rochi 4 for him. Uh, his Muso 1 can feel like you're, you're, you're like not connecting anything. And it just does not feel good. Um, but in Dice Wars 8, he's definitely probably better in that game. Uh, sadly, 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 we got DM with. I try to cut Dan away a lot of slack. I mean, he gets more mileage out of guard cancels in Orochi 4. Uh, his Muso 2 has a little bit great, better range than you might think. Uh, so for combo enders, there you go. Um, the little explosive mechanic when he powers up is pretty nice. Good, good CC there. Um... But we're talking about combos, C5 juggles infinitely. No, I think except it, that doesn't, I believe that, is it that, I think it's still the same thing in Orochi 4. I could be wrong, but I think they made it so that his EX afterwards does not, is not a true combo. Uh, his charge three can swoop past guards. They're like blocking enemies, which is nice. Pretty unique in that regard. Uh, but other than that, dude, he's sadly... The only way is not the best, dude. He's, he's a def definitely above like some of these guys, though. It's like right here. Um, yeah. Ooh, who's, what's her name? Sai Wenji, right? That's her name. Let me make sure. Yep, Sai Wenji. She gets a lot of flack in the community. Uh, but her moveset is pretty nice. Her normals are nice. Charge moves are nice. They kind of... They work. You can kind of flow around the battlefield with her as well. But 
a weapon switch I believe has too much lengthy recovery frames and knockback to get anything out of it. Conflagration is probably your best friend. Uh, Air Muso is pretty bad. It's probably one of the worst I've seen actually in the game. Uh, Air Muso 2 has excellent range though. And Muso 1 is a healing Muso. If you got like a little co op parsec, you know, parsec or even a local co or local co op sort of uh, friend with you, you can heal them up. Uh, so she's very niche in that regard. So I'd say like she's probably, you know, C, C tier. Or like C, yeah. Some, something like that. She's. There's definitely characters here. Let me see. He he definitely got to come up here. As his moves flow together pretty nicely, so he he goes up there. But um, yeah. Uh, okay. So Lumong. Oof! This dude is. I'm gonna keep the G with you. This dude is, feels so bad to use. So bad. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. He's a D tier. Um only thing you can do really say is that you can switch weapons if the enemy is on the ground and pop them back up in the air. But there's so many ways to get enemies off the ground from hard knockdown states with weapons with movesets that are more satisfying to use. Uh, yeah. Mm, he's definitely, like, the, he's, like, in the, he's D tier, for sure. Probably, like, right here. I gotta switch D tier around. Like, for example, Lee, Lee Dian is, that my, my boy, my boy gotta go down there. I would say... Something like this. Is, is what I would say so far. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So, Guan Xing. High skill ceiling character. Uh, you got to be able to hit those air normals after doing your charge moves, which takes reaction speed. Uh, my, my reaction speed, I believe, is slightly above average, but even I can't hit some of the combo uh, stuff with him. Uh, sadly, he is, like I said, pretty pretty high skill ceiling with that. Um, I'm not very sure if his EX1. Uh, is a true combo. I, I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Um, you can actually combo after jump, or oops, after um. Air Muso, you can actually get that that uh, you know that jump charge or that air normal afterwards to get a combo continuation, but that's very option select heavy. Um, yeah, he's uh, yeah, but his weapon switch is not a true combo. Sadly, that's another thing that's you know sort of working against him. Uh, so with that, all that being said, he's probably like, probably like low B tier. Like he has stuff, but it's just not the best kind of, kind of stuff. Um, don't know much about Buddy right here, so I'm just automatically put him D tier. Uh, sorry. Same thing with, um, what's, what's his name? Boat fella. Um, I know he does have a king-esque sort of Muso sequence. You can actually link a lot of the Musos that he has together. Um, and they all work together. So that, that's going for him. So let's put him right here. Um, I like to use him without his boat weapon. His boat weapon just feels too all over the place. Uh This dude is very goaded. Uh, he's one of my friend's favorite characters for a reason. He's very, very fun to use. He's a, you know, a grappler character. 
that has a lot of hard knockdown states and popping the enemy back up. Uh, he's a true he's he's a he's a true grappler, I'd say. Um, can initiate combos with Air Muso to get that fro the the freeze off. If you quit all or frost, you can go for weapon switch, get that that uh that stun animation, or and you can go into combos like that. There's a lot of options when it comes to his weapon. Um, you can even hard spot the enemy. And then do his Muso 2 and get the freeze. Uh, so utilize hard knockdowns as they, if you use Musos, it counts as the enemy standing. So let's say for example you use, use Sun Jian. And you want to, let's say, uh, hmm trying to think here if you use a grapple move for example uh or some grapple moves uh i'm trying to think here but anyways all in all because i can't think straight uh because it's late it's two o'clock in the morning uh if the enemy is hard splat with sun jian you can just do his muso one and then you can re-splat them on the ground again so think about stuff like that um Again, Jugadon is just very good when it comes to that. Uh, and for that, he goes probably like right here. He's an A-tier character. Uh, lacking in the range department, but uh, just having all that, that access to a lot of stuff is good. Also, I should also mention um, during EX2, you can actually hit the weapon switch button and get a, another sort of reset. Uh, if you utilize that properly so yeah all right y'all so i'm back again um i kind of did this in three sections you can probably tell but <laughs> uh yeah um we got Han Dong. his weapon in dynasty warriors 8 is honestly not very not very good for combos i mean they're there uh, he has some stuff like you can do you can do um ch probably like charge two uh i'm trying to think charge two into like charge three or something like that uh because isn't charge two uh yeah you hit the ground you knock the enemy in the air then you can do a jump charge afterwards and then you can like do some like maybe like c6 or something uh, he has some stuff, but is very limited. Uh, gotta probably put him down here. Uh, also his, one of his Musos don't really have the best range. I believe his Muso won. So, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, here we go. We got this guy here. Okay. Listen. I think that his weapon feels horrible. To use now one may say wait you can combo you can juggle and all that stuff because he you can do um his ex would believe is his ex1 or is his ex2 let me think uh i think it's his ex2 but you know you basically throw all the floating daggers around and stuff and you know you can juggle that way uh see the thing is that's a little rng uh, it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. So the enemy will just be like. Just in the air. Get hit randomly and stuff. And it's just all over the place. Uh, the rest of the, the charge moves has knockback to it. So you can't really get much mileage out of that. Now that I think about it. Conflagration again. You probably want to go for that. Because uh, yeah. And his, uh, his regular Musos are not very good, too, for combos. Air Muso is a little jarring because it doesn't even feel like it pops the enemy in the air at all for any reason. It's just, it's like kind of like, yeah, take take that. And the enemy is like, eh, I mean, I guess. Like, it's, it's not very intimidating as far as uh, its utilization for anything. Uh, Muso one is. I don't even think it. I I, I believe the one that that he grapples. 
Yeah, there's one that where he grapples. I think that's his Muso one. It's like sort of a grapple move. That feels a little clunky in crowds. So yeah, it's, it's, his moveset is not very good. And I'm actually going to put him at the, the tail end of D tier. Uh, that's going to be a hot take. But just... I encourage you to try to use <laughs> use other characters because his moves his uh moves set for his weapon is a little chunky or say chunky <laughs> clunky. Um weapon switch doesn't even combo as well, so yeah. Yeah. There's better characters. Aesthetic wise he's pretty cool though. But we ain't talking about that because he cause Machao would be S tier if that's the case. But anyways, on to Machao. Uh, Machado is really, really good. His Muso too does a hard knockdown. Uh, you can actually combo sometimes after Muso one, depending on how high the enemy is in the air, and his air Muso uh rejuggles the enemy because it has such great recovery, even in Dynasty Warriors eight. Uh, uh, his you can actually get the grapple animation with his spear it, with the right timing. Uh, sadly, my child is a whirlwind character. Uh, you know how I feel about those type those guys. They they hate grapples from for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, whirlwind doesn't necessarily make the spear that that bad. But the fact that you don't have access to like a rejuggling tool um, kind of knocks it down some. Uh, C five uh, relaunches the enemy. I don't know if that was changed in Orochi four. I believe it was, but yeah, it's a true combo, so you you can get a free, you know, move to get the enemy back up in the air, though it does have a bit of knockback to it, uh, and be careful when using Hell Charge 6, because the second hit isn't a true combo, then we can tech out of that, so, yeah, my child is pretty, pretty darn good, his EX1 is, is pretty nice, the, you know, spiral kick, uh, you can do, you know, EX1 into Muso 2, get that hard knockdown, pop them back up with jump charge and do stuff. Bro is, bro is pretty solid. He's like a nice... Like, he's like high B. Or, I think he's probably right here. You know? He, he's, he's not, he's, um... Pretty nice. He has, he feels pretty nice to use in Orochi 4. Too so, yeah, nice nice little placement there. Uh, okay, so Juglion, this is interesting. In Dynasty Warriors Eight, he would be up here somewhere for sure. Uh, because f the War Fan, I think, is his weapon has so much utility when using it with weapons with power up power up states. Uh. Uh, Muso 2 is nice for, um, you know, a little bit of flavor, adding a little juggle flavor to your combos. Uh, jump charge can be a little clunky if you like using it to sort of dash out of, like if you're doing a juggle and you dash and do um, jump charge, the, the inertia uh, will actually pull you away, or push you away from the enemy. That could feel a little pretty bad. Um... But yeah, Dynasty Warriors 8, he's, he's actually not that bad. He got the uh, the air lightning and that rejuggles. He has Muso 2 that juggles. Uh, I don't know if you can use Muso 1 as a combo initiator. I don't think so. Uh, do correct me on that in the comments if you can uh, about that. Because I'm not sure if it like stuns the enemy or something like Liu Bei's. Or my speculation about Liu Bei's. But... Yeah, all in all, a solid, a solid character. Uh, Warfan feels pretty damn nice just overall to use. And for that, he goes into A tier. Um, he's probably right... I'm going to put him right here. He would be a little bit higher, but... Um, in Orochi 4, he, for some reason, feels bad to use in that game. I think it's because of that denuder, de, denuder to range uh, that I was talking about. I am really believe in my heart that range is worse in uh, Orochi 4 for some weird reason. Like, Guanyin Ping's weapon feels pretty bad in Orochi 4, too, to, to use at times. But, yeah. 
That is, uh, I started Jubilee on. Okay, now we got uh, Sima Zhao. Uh, Sima Zhao, his Musa 1 rejuggles, uh, his weapon switch is funky as hell. I don't like it. Uh, he's definitely better in Orochi 4. He, he, he's got improved because he's a technique character. Uh, but his weapon is really clunky for combos. Uh, it doesn't feel particularly good. So I'm going to have to probably put him in C tier. Um, yeah, his moveset is just not good for juggles and stuff. Um, yeah, and his EX1 could feel pretty bad. The, the slide where you slide on the enemy and stuff, that is so funky to use. Then that same glitch that happens with your boy up here, Ling Tong, uh, is when you do the grapple animation, the enemy will teleport behind you, give you a little pat on the back, to because um, the enemy even feels bad for you trying to combo with that move but yeah that he's he's c-tier yeah uh pong du uh conflagration go for it uh his moveset is actually really good uh horseback horseback um muso uh you can actually jump charge and get the pop-up um to combo uh so that's very nice uh, his general moveset is not not too shabby. It has a little bit of knockback to it, but again, go for conflagration. Uh, his Muso 1 rejuggles as well, so his Muso 1 and Muso 2. Muso 2 is more conditional, like you'll have to be up against a wall or something like that in order to get the most mileage, but Muso 1 does rejuggle for sure. And I don't know about his air Muso. It probably does as well. Uh, that's just that's speculation on my part, but... Uh, Weapon switch can feel a little long, but again, that's why you go for conflagration. Uh, very solid character. He's actually, I would put him up here with like, um, here. Well, actually, probably right here, because Sal P has just so much ways to approach combos and stuff. Um, yeah. Sun Tzu, a character that benefits from affinity shield being broken a lot. Uh, let's see, air normals, true combos, jump charge is nice. Uh, Muso 2 rejuggles. Muso 1 had great range in Dynasty Warrior 7 and 8. It kind of got a little toned down in Orochi 4 because, again, that, that range nerf, that universal range nerf, um, that I so, I definitely feel, um, yeah, that his Musa one got kind of toned down from that. Uh, let's see. Um, of course he has the the back step with his charge move, so you can you can link everything together. Uh, only thing I will say is C six sometimes bugs out. For example, if you go for C six and you're trying to go and then you're trying to do his his EX afterwards, the enemy will sometimes be hard splatted on the floor and you'll just whiff your kick for some reason. It's this weird bug with grapples in, uh, in Orochi 4 in particular. Uh, it, it, the glitches that where enemies teleport behind you does exist in Dynasty Warriors 8, but it feels like it is way more prominent in Orochi 4. Uh, and so, yeah, that kind of holds him back a bit. Not only that, but his EX1 and 2 aren't true combos. Enemies can just flip out of that. Uh, but otherwise, the moveset is really solid. It's the Tom... It's the... Uh, the Tompas? Yeah, the Tompas we're talking about. So, just just had a stroke right there. Uh, I will put him just because everything flows well together. He has a way to rejuggle. At least in Dice Warriors Eight, Orochi Four. He's a technique character, which is it works for him. Uh, because after Air Normal, you can char uh, Spirit Charge and do some funky stuff. Um, very nice stuff. Uh, I will put him here. If not, like maybe right here. He's an eighth tier character. Uh Lubu. It's Lubu. He doesn't really have stuff. His combos are really boring. 
Uh, he doesn't really much ha have much combo drops. It's it's Lu Bu we're talking about anyways. Like you must you have to really love Lu Bu in order to use his favorite weapon for, for combos and stuff. He has hard knockdown states and all that stuff, and you know that works for him. But it's Lu Bu. It, he's supposed to just go around and hit people really hard. Uh, and they sort of built that philosophy in his kit. So yeah. Uh yeah. Sun Chuan. S tier. Um Flame Sword is just really solid. You can you can weapon switch and still get juggles. You can do a lot of stuff with him. Uh, his weapon just melds together pretty well. Spirit charge charges the, the flame spear. Or not spirit charge, but like shadow rush or shadow dash. Shadow sprint, that's what it's called. I'm saying everything else. I'm, I'm naming freaking my little pony ponies, but uh yeah his his you know his his weapon is solid it's just really solid and it's flashy uh hmm yeah i'm, I'm gonna say maybe he's a s tier maybe he's like a low eight like actually no let's be fair uh yeah i'm uh i think his air muso rejuggles i'm not really sure don't quote me on that. Um, put them here. I'm put them right here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna put them right there. Okay. So let's talk about this, right? We got Yuan Xiao. Yuan Xiao gets a lot of crap. Um, and my group of friends they kind of crap on my boy. Uh, but I'm always a shield for this dude. Um. Now, in a general sense, this dude is horrible. Like, uh, as if, if well, like on paper, I would say at least, uh, his Musa one is basic. You know, it is is a great combo ender. His Musa two heals and it has crap range even in Dynasty Warriors eight. Uh, it got even worse in Orochi four. His air Musa doesn't do anything but just and it has a horrible hitbox uh his ex1 and 2 his ex1 i believe is actually pretty solid if the enemy is against the wall um and you know you, you doing it mid combo and stuff for juggles his ex2 is one of the worst if not the worst ex in dynasty warriors 8 uh so you would say okay this character seems pretty darn bad except no, they gave him one of the best filling slash flowing weapons in Dynasty Warriors 8. Uh, as far as being able to jump around the field and just juggle everything. For some weird reason, they gave him that. Uh, <laughs> they they did semi-redeem him in the Roti 4. He's actually one of those characters that I would say is like on par with Sai We... Uh, Sai, uh, what's her name? I'll say Sai Wenji. This is Yuanji. Um... Whereas it feels like it's it, you'll be adding another layer of style to your team to your team if you use him. On top of that, his unique magic attack has really nice range. Some of the some of the better wide range uh, magic attacks as far as uh, range or or sorry width and uh, damage. Uh, he has one of the better better ones, believe it or not. Uh, it's not very RNG like you know now mosses or something like that. Uh, that you know uh, that um uh was it Power Ranger spear move? It's not like that where you have to kind of gauge a certain distance and stuff. Nope. It's just straightforward. Uh, jump charge is nice. Uh, um, he can use air normal. It doesn't. It's not affected by that air normal nerf. Uh. That they did in Dynasty Warriors Eight Extreme Legends. Yeah, he's he's uh, a solid solid dude. Uh, and be sure after C five that you use, um, you hit jump. Like if you're playing Orochi four, hit make sure you hit jump and then hit uh, air no more or jump charge or something, uh, because it's not a true combo mid combo. So it's easier to do in Dynasty Warriors Eight. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, but yeah. Yeah, he's actually a A tier character, <laughs> believe it or not. 
uh, simply because how hard his uh, his uh, weapon carries him. His weapon is really, really good. Uh, yeah. Alright, so now we have uh, Lu Bu's daughter. Uh, Lu Lian, uh, or sorry, Lu something. I forgot her name, bro. I butchered her name. What was her name? Uh oh. I'm just saying Lu Bu's daughter. Um. You don't get much utility out of her musos. Uh, as far as combos go, they're great combo enders. But her general moveset is really nice. The um, sort of like uh, telepathic uh, control with the, uh, the the pikes is really cool. You can actually pull enemies right back to you. Uh, let me think. You know, she got combos. Uh. Affinity break, affinity shield breaking helps a lot with her after weapon switch, and she can you know destroy affinity shields pretty fast too. Um, yeah, I would say I don't know, like probably like high B tier or like something like like this. That seems fitting. No, nice solid character. Um, yeah. Uh, Joshu, right? Joshu is weapon not affected by the air normal nerf much. His EX one feels very clunky though. It feels very Dynasty Warrior seven esque. Where it sort of there was like this kind of delay on weapon act or moot or sorry, uh, ex activation on that game, and his feel like they it, it didn't sort of adjust to the dinosaurs eight flow of e, uh, ex activation, so that holds it back a little bit, um, or not much by much, but it just feels weird. I don't know how to explain it, uh. But air normal works. His weapon switch does not work mid combo, sadly. But his charge moves like charge two, charge three, all that stuff works mid combo. Or not, not charge two, charge three, charge four, uh, charge. Yeah, charge five is not a true combo. Uh, charge six, you can you can just you know, but any of those strings except or uh, any of those charge moves except charge five and charge two. You can do an air no a jump or air normal to uh you know get a combo continuation scenario. Uh, but yeah, he you know it's probably like, probably like B tier, like right here maybe, or like hmm, yeah, just because his weapon feels less clunky. Or, uh, probably right here. Okay. UA Gene. S tier. Uh, it's pretty simple why. Uh, first of all, he has a way to restand the enemy um, with charge three, even if they're in the air. Uh, he can have all in frost on his weapon when doing grapples and sort of get some some uh, scenarios to come out, uh, more combo routes and whatnot. He has his charge too can be d done infinitely in combos. Uh, his jump charge in Dice Yours Eight has rejuggle applications. Uh, what else? Yeah, he's just a really solid character. EX eight, what is it? EX two. EX two is a great way to get a combo extension. Um, he just has a lot of built-in great combos going for him. You can even in the middle of uh, doing, I believe, his uh, charge. 
what is it charge two you can weapon switch in the middle of that am animation or something like that I'm, I'm trying to remember what move it, it is yeah i think it's charge two in the middle of charge two you can weapon switch and actually get a stun state if you have uh if you if you want to do that yeah um he has a lot of options and my boy is even just as great in the rochi 4 so he's an s tier character um okay so we got um one more character um shing sai uh weapon switch works mid juggle uh her muscles aren't the greatest i'd say uh for juggles but combo enders of course of course uh her weapon is pretty solid i'd, I'd say the only downside is how like slow the activation is because it has a power up activation to it uh but you know also her muso 2 can uh i believe it hard splash the enemy i think it's a little rng up in the air if you use it on a na a playable officer or a regular like or a non playable officer it's weird um but you know she's like probably high b or not high b but like you know right here i'd say if you sum it all out but yeah that's the tier list uh yeah uh it says it, dice Warriors a extreme legends tier list but again i'm reckoning them from like probably a, a dice Warriors eight empires and or is Orochi four but yeah that that is the list uh thanks for watching Okay, wait. Uh, before I go, though, uh, there's some placement stuff I want to change. I want to actually change, put, like, probably sh Shushu probably right here. Put Jotai right there, maybe. I want to do something like this. Maybe, like, something like... Something like that? she goes up here pretty high too i would actually say she's probably right there just because of how astronomically great <laughs> the boomerang is and a is just the best hands down the best utility weapon in the game uh for if your character struggles in a particular field she's definitely the golden girl uh but the thing is, in the in Dynasty Warriors, or sorry, Warriors of Rochi Four, she actually got neutered a lot, so I want to factor that in too. But even then, even so, her weapon is just so good. Also, sh sh uh, dude, uh, some of these placements, there, it's, it's it's very competitive up here. Uh, she's like right here. He's like right here. Sal Sal's like right here. E yeah, I'm going to lock this in. Uh, but yeah. Um, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's that about, it, that about does it. Thanks for watching.